I stumbled across Dark Souls from a friend of mine, his favorite game, and I gave it a shot and it was really, really difficult and it destroyed me for a very long time, but I kept hanging on and then one day I was invaded by someone and that was the day I was hooked. The day I fell in love with the multiplayer aspect, the invasions, the co-op, everything like that. And ever since, that's been my number one focus. It's really impressive how many different ways you can play the game and keep that going. Having the past of doing all these different runs and like having it all on YouTube, it's really cool to go back and watch after I've done all that. I think it could even be exciting for someone who may not be used to PvP or expecting it. Someone shows up in their world, they're having to make a split-second decision of what to do about this unexpected scenario. Difficulty's never been the main thing with Dark Souls or the Souls franchise. It just comes, I think, as a byproduct of having good game design. So just giving your players a challenge and knowing that not everyone's going to like that, but some people are going to love it. I guess I'm just one of those people. I want it to be harder. I want it to be just ridiculously hard that only a few people can actually complete the game. It's insane, but that's what I love. When I was on my Soul Level 1 run, it was ridiculously tough for me. I could not do it. I spent two days straight trying to kill Gwyn. And I finally did it, and it was like the best feeling of my life. After you set a challenge for yourself in this game, a lot of people, they get that mentality like, I have to finish this at all costs. And when you finally do do it, you finally beat it, like that euphoria, that feeling that it produces when you finally conquer it, there's no other games that really give you that. For Souls games, everywhere you go, you still kind of have to be on your toes and thinking about it, even when you get further in the game. So I think overall it's the gameplay that keeps people coming back. I think what hooks a lot of players is uh, the unpredictable nature of every invasion. Every, every game is different and not a lot of other games that can compare in that sense. It's the only game I've been able to play for 12 hours straight, and I want more. Combat is fantastic. There's nothing really like it. Even though it's extremely high fantasy and things like that, it still seems like it's grounded in realism. My brother is actually the one that, that bought uh, Demon Souls way back when, when it first came out, early 2009. It took me three attempts to actually get into the game. I got killed by the Power Knight, and I just, I rage quit. I stopped playing and I couldn't do it. And then I came back and I got stuck on the Man Eaters, and then the third time I finally got it. Ever since then, it's just, it's, it's taken over everything for me. It's really satisfying because a lot of it sort of is like you're working around that moment. It may take a while to get to that point, but every move that you take, every action that you have, all comes back to, all right, this is it. This is the moment I win. Dark Souls!